Thank you, Madam Speaker. Today, the House Committee on Oversight and Accountability heard the testimony of two IRS whistleblowers who revealed how the Department of Justice interfered in the investigation of the foreign business dealings of the Biden family. During this oversight hearing, we learned that Hunter Biden received money from China and other countries. Today's hearing made it apparent that there are two sets of rules in this country, one for the Biden family and another for the rest of us. If people in my district even did a small amount of what Hunter Biden did, they would serve time in jail. Instead of receiving full accountability from the Justice Department, the two IRS whistleblowers confirmed that the Attorney General was not impartial in the investigation. Further, they revealed that President Biden not only knew about Hunter Biden's corrupt foreign business deals, but he was in the room for the deals. Hunter Biden, with full knowledge and participation of then-Vice President Biden, leveraged his family name during these shady business deals, which is absolutely an abuse of power and not an appropriate use of the office of the Vice President. If the GOJ will not do his job and complete a thorough investigation, then it is up to Congress to provide the accountability needed. Iowans want to have full faith in our criminal justice system, and that starts with an equal application of the law.